Well, good morning, folks. It is August the 17th, and I am driving again. And yes, once again, eyes to the front. I don't have to be looking at the camera to make this happen. But um, I just want to put it on the radar out there that we have another, yet another, Bay St. Louis City Council meeting this Tuesday. And I am uh, praying that they're going to do the right thing and pick one of these amazing grant admin companies that can come in and do what they know how to do because I'm not knocking uh, city officials for what their role is. They know what to do, but they do not have a clue. They do not have a clue as to what to do like these grant admin companies. This is what they do. And uh, the very fact that they wanna keep pushing back and keep filibustering makes me wonder why they would wanna do that. So, because all of their spaghetti that they throw out saying we can't bring it on because of this scoring or we're not sure about that well guess what the grant admin companies know how to do that so it's just a filibuster so with that being said uh, two pieces of information one I've had some amazing people in Mississippi that actually got um, I, uh, um, letters from FEMA saying they were identified to receive the SWIFT grant they didn't even have to go out and find it FEMA sent them the letter and they've gone through all the process and their city officials and county officials have demoralized them and demeaned them and to where they just want to give up but they are uh, they've never got an award letter I guess I might be just a little bit more stubborn than them that can be a good thing or a bad thing I know that but um, they have reached out to me they are hopeful once again and they are going to be submitting their statements that I will be sharing and uh, we are growing into a little grassroots army to, to take up the banner for the people of Mississippi to get the help they need to raise their homes that they deserve. So once again, I do want to remind everybody from last time um, that just Bay St. Louis alone could qualify for 74 uh, severe repetitive loss properties and 11 severe uh, repetitive loss properties that they just don't want to um, move forward with it. It's just too much. It's too new. And they say, well, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. Well, you know what? This, is, this isn't this is even a wheel to reinvent. It's totally different. So uh, with that being said, I will be in contact with those folks. I'm also sharing those statements with all the higher ups and the officials and um, letting them know. And some of these people are, are active military. Mm -hmm. So we have been doing this to our active military that they can't follow up because every time they turn around and they feel like they're making progress, they have to be deployed. So how cool is that? Not. So we need to start taking care of the people of Mississippi because we deserve it, because we pay our taxes like everybody else, and this money should be allocated. So with whatever's going on that Mississippi can't, right? Zip money that Mississippi can't. But let's see, oh, that's right, Louisiana can to the tunes of sucking up like a sponge, a hundred million dollars, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, let me put it like that, with the FMAs and the SWIFT, well, that's shameful. Another thing is, um, a blessing is that I have been contacted by some other uh, city officials other than Bay St. Louis that really wanna work for their people. They've heard about this, they wanna meet with me, they want to find out what information I have, and they want to go ahead and identify properties uh, in their towns, in their cities, that can qualify for this and push it forward. They want to be proactive, okay? What I did tell them is that the main thing is that you want to go with the grant admin from jump, from jump, and then that will clear up all the fog, it will clear up all the naysayers, and, um, do I wish that that would have happened for mine? Yes, but uh, that didn't. Uh, and that's a whole other story for a whole other day. But regardless, it, that's great because the more we have people on board that want this to happen, it whatever, whatever minutia Mississippi wants to identify as to why they just can't, whether it be with Mima, hi Stephen McCraney, hi Clayton French, or um, the, the counties, or the cities, you know, let's clear it up. Let's clear it up. It's high time and um, we deserve it. Everybody deserves it. Everybody deserves a chance that is identified. If they are putting their love and their strength and their 
uh, fortune and their time and their families into Mississippi, you know what? Uh, they deserve to have this chance to have their house raised and be out of harm's way, right? And have a healthier life and a more profitable life and uh, just have a, a calmer life, right? When storms come around.